Been a good pass there, Chris. Over his heels. <laughs> Go on.
again. Scotty, we know three of the four heading down the Sky Machina, Lucian and Anthony Picard are there as well. We know Jose has been a bit tight to the end. I know they're very tight to us over the first quarter and going into kind of the, the halftime break, but could be hard at this one. This one seems to be on paper the most uh, evenly split out of quarterfinals there and uh, at the last one. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly the most uh, relaxed uh, game of the weekend and, and this is the one that everyone's kind of was looking for in the draft on Merrick. So we have got the two power players that surely have given Kirk Hurlan, you know, so Paddy Bowden kind of set the standard there with, with a five in a row in, in the last decade, you know, and Pula kind of come on, come on the scene and kicked on and, and went on and won two club all Ireland as well. So it's been very club dominated and they've given Kirk Hurlan the last ten years. So, you know, the, the teams have changed, uh, the personnel has changed, but there's still a lot of the older warriors and, and the old guard still there as well. So both teams trying to gel in new teams as well. So intriguing contest, cool it down a lot of lads as well, a lot of star performers as well, but uh, mouthwash and kind of game to look forward to. Yeah, yeah absolutely. E e even though that, I suppose, it, there, there is a bit of a changeover in players and it is a case of, of flooding through some young guns as well, the desire is still there. The, the, that rivalry is still there as well. You know, as we mentioned, and it is a repeat of, of last year's final. So there's going to be a bit of bite to this one. Oh, there will, absolutely. And you throw in the fact that you've got you've Eddie Brennan, John Toomey and Malachy Travers and David Curtin there as well. So you've got new management teams and, you know, fresh ideas and really trying to lay down a, a mark and put a stamp on their teams as well. So this would be a giant step for, for both management teams to kind of progress on into a semi-final as well. But there'll be nothing one easy here. As well. So it's, it's really all to look forward to. And in terms of, of, I suppose, their route to the quarterfinals, you look at Bowden's three wins from three coming out of the group, but Kula, they were made, made fight for yeah. it against Bridgets, you know, really went yeah. down to the wire. I think they got the last four points yeah. of, in, in that match as well to get them there. So I suppose focusing on Kula then in particular, it shows that they have the, the wear it on, the, the, the experience to manage games, even when they were under pressure because yeah. they, they lost in the first day out as well, though, but they've been here before and... They deserve to be here. Yeah, I think you're right, Shane. And you know, there's probably been a few question marks over them throughout the year. Kind of, is the hunger waning? And have they yeah. really, have they really got it in them to kind of kick on and, and um, you know, go on another run and maybe win another county title as well? But in fairness to them, Bridget's really put it up to them, and the character they showed to dig that out, I think that might give them a little bit of an edge today. Uh, Ballyboden probably have had, have had an easier run. Um, into this, whereas Kula have had that little test the last day out, managing to get a couple of lads back into the team as well. Um, so that might give them a slight edge, maybe in the first kind of, the first kind of the early exchanges of the game. Yeah. You know? with, with respect to, to Plunkett, Fogs, and, and, and Scully Connell, this is you know a massive step up for Bowden. Is there any risk of complacency as a result? Uh, I don't think so. I certainly don't think so. They'll be, they, you know, they'll be fully, fully ready for this one. And this is their kind of, as I said, they, they've had, they know this is their big tester. If they, you know, a win here would really set them up for the rest of this, for, the, for the rest of the year and inject that confidence in that they can go on and win a county title as well. They're getting young lads into the team as well. This would be a massive, massive step. But they will be relying on some of the older warriors that are still there, the likes of Conal Keeney, uh, Simon Lambert, Shane Dirk, and. Paul Ryan, Niall McMorrow and these lads so they, they have that core of experience there as well and they'll be hoping that them lads can kind of get them, get them over the line Yeah certainly, there's a good blend of uh, youth experience and there's talent all over all the pitch, over the pitch. I genuinely cannot pitch. wait yeah, for this yeah, one Dotsy, listen, you're going to make your way up to the, the commentary right, area to yeah. join Oshin Lang and as I say, cannot wait for this one, the last of our quarter final uh, pairings this weekend in the go, go ahead Dublin Senior Hurling Club Championship uh, it is um, Kula against Ballyboden uh, St Enders in the company of Dotsy Callum and first Oshin Langan <laughs> Thank you very much, Shane. Lovely conditions for a game of hurling. It is the Go Ahead Dublin Senior Hurling Championship quarter final, And I don't think the other teams involved in the other three ties will mind us saying that this was the one that jumped off the page. This was the one, particularly the neutrals, and I guess the fans of both of these clubs, were really looking forward to. It is a repeat of the county final of last year. And if it's anything like that, it is going to be a belter. And we hope it will be. Now, Con O'Callaghan has not been named to start, but I'd be fairly certain that he will. For Bally Bowden, I imagine there might be one or two changes as well. Keen O'Callaghan, also not in the starting 15, but I'd be shocked if he wasn't involved. Kula reached this stage via that kind of final round win over St. Bridget's, the final round of the first round if that makes sense and they weren't amazing in that game they found a way through that's what the good teams do but they themselves will tell you that they need to improve for this match what they produce then will not do today against a team like Bally Bowden 
Conditions absolutely perfect. The pitch a little soft underfoot, but that's to be expected at this time of year. Our referee, by the way, is David Ashton. David Tracy stepped up last year in the county final, scoring 11 points, seven of them from freeze. He'll be the man that will be on the dead balls again for Kula today. He's so vital to this Kula team. He has been a driving force over the years. Two All-Ireland titles for Kula, both won under Matty Kenny. They've enjoyed success as well under Willie Marr, who led them to a county title last year. But now, Eddie Brennan and John Toomey are the men in charge. John Toomey wears the banished doors bib. Eddie Brennan very much front and centre as the head coach for Ballyboden. Well, it's kind of a familiar face or two in the management setup. Malachy Travers and David Curtin. Legendary players, I think it's fair to say, for Ballyboden, who left it all out there when they wore blue and white. And they're now in charge of former teammates. And in fact, a, a couple of weeks ago, I spoke to Malachy Travers and asked him what's it like to manage former teammates. And he said, basically, and this is to paraphrase him, once you're the manager, you're the manager and you have to leave all relationships behind when you're picking a team It is the go-ahead Dublin Senior Hurling Championship quarter-final. Kula against Bally Bowden. Dotsy, you'd have to be a brave man to call a winner, but you are a brave man. I am. Am I, O'Shea? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I'm changing my mind throughout the week on this one. Um, just it'd be interesting to see the team lineups as well. Mm. We know kind of the, the, the teams that are coming into the programmes don't tend to be the, the exact teams these days. So looking forward to seeing what way that, that the lineups and who, who's on who. But yep. um, very interesting, very very tough one to call. Yeah, I think the game that Kula had the last round might stand to them, maybe especially in the, in the initial exchanges of this. Uh, the tough one against Bridges, Ballyboden have probably had an easy enough run into this game. But but look, they've got quality all over the pitch as well. So this is, you know, I see Jake Malone already yep. gone to centre forward, so which is interesting, yeah. Well, the surprises are not surprises. Keen O'Callaghan starts, Con O'Callaghan starts, and uh, Killian Shannon starts. Bally Bowden starting on the front foot here. Here's Luke McDwyer. He's been a lively presence in the championship so far, and he's announced his arrival in the knockout stages. Yeah, great score from Luke McDwyer. What a start. Lovely pass out by Aidan Mallet there. Busy around the middle again. Brilliant start for Bally Bowden. I thought Paul Ryan might have started for Ballyboden. That doesn't appear to be the case. They're going for two in a row. Again, it's McDwyer misses this one. Yeah, his confidence was up there, and he was right to take the shot. He had read the puck out brilliantly and got, got a possession, so he was, he was well within his rights to have a pop there, just a bit to the right. I think you mentioned it, but Simon Lambert, wearing six, is pushed up to centre forward. Sorry, so yeah. yeah, he's marking uh, Jake Malone. Con O'Callaghan is the aim here. Swallowed up by Shane Dirk and so experienced. Just in case you've only landed on the planet, Bally Bowden in the blue and white, Kula in the red. Simon Timlin trickles down the way. Sean Moran scored 2 3 in last year's county final. Falls away of Shannon. Nice step inside, dispossessed brilliantly by Sean McDonald. As we said about the first game, the rooks are going to be so important here. It is now winter hurling. Even though it's relatively mild and it's overcast and not raining, the pitch is still that bit slower moving, that bit softer. Scooped out to John Shannon. Great block. Getting in there was James Roach. Yeah, well in by James Roach as well. We see that the power of Dermot O'Flynn there. Uh, really, really strong runner. Re you know, remi would remind you of Colin Cronin a little bit as well, who, who obviously cool are missing, but a powerful runner any time he gets the ball. Mark Schutte also out as well. Huge losses. Now, they knew about those. It's not like they're surprises, but... It's still hard to replace guys like that. Con O'Callaghan, he'll get out in front all day, but he's stuck to there by Luke Corcoran. Away it goes from Durkin. When you think about the top Kula players, and there are a number of them, Bally Bowden have the answers for that on their team. So it's just a matter of who plays better, which I appreciate sounds like a silly comment, but 
There's so much talent out there. It's such a hard game to call. John Maguire. Michael Conroy is with him. Pops up for Keen O'Callaghan. Cal Good ball to Malone. Two on two. Good catch. Great catch by David Tracy. Tracy takes it on and gets the score. Yeah, well, Shane, you've done absolutely brilliant there. Jake Malone, Keane to Jake. Jake spreads it across. And David Tracy was a brilliant take and managed to make the room and get the score off. Super stuff. What a catch that was by Mellis. Keeney was potentially the aim, but uh, McMorrow comes out to meet us. Niall McMorrow, who's a bit of a whirling dervish. Yeah, Niall. A scorer as well. Yeah, he's played a lot of his hurling out the field, but they're playing him inside this year, and he's a, he's a bit, he's nippy, he's quick out onto the ball, so they play, they play the right ball into him, he'll do damage like that. 13, 14 and 15, all in the positions of the traditional forward line at the moment for Ballyport, and it's, it's strange to see Durkin goes over Keeney, falls for McMorrow. Again, yeah. Gave him too much space there, wasn't he? Yeah, and Keno Callahan there will have to tighten up as well. Not, you know, he's a rock solid fullback, but Niall, you know, he's nippy, he's quick, he's hard to mark, so if they can isolate him there, he'll pop points like that all day long. This one has a big game feel, doesn't it? It does, absolutely, Oshin, yeah, yeah. Sean Brennan, who's featured for Dublin, trying to tidy it up now is Darrell O'Connell. The carry man inside, Shannon. Can he snipe that one over? Yes, he can. Great score from Killian Shannon. Yeah, some great point so already so far. Only a couple of minutes into it. Finn McGarry. Another one of the uh, experienced players out there for Ballyboden. Real scramble on there. The break falls in favour of James Roach. He's wrapped up and he's fouled by David Tracy. Yeah, yeah, James Roach done well there. A slightly high tackle by Dave. I don't think it was intentional. So, uh, good call by the ref as well. So, free and a chance for, for Bally Bowden. It's McMorrow who will come out to take it. Just to confirm, the referee wasn't kneeling in McMorrow's presence. He was just tying his lace. He's good, but he's not that good. <laughs> Conal Keeney, I could understand. <laughs> McMorrow that's a good score yeah, great strike and his confidence will be up after getting his two points early points from play as well so it's a good start for Niall four points to two it's flying by the wind by the way in favour of Bally Bowden it's a slight breeze but it has picked up from the first game and one thing that I noticed walking around the pitch today again you nearly forget there's actually a slant going down towards that golf course end Niall Carthy it was uh, James Madden and it goes wide it yeah, just overcooked the, the ball in a little bit James Sean Brennan having a look up Interesting to see that on one side of the pitch they're all spread out, then on the other side of the pitch they're all narrow. Yeah, and they're breaking, breaking out to the wings. So. That wouldn't quite break for Sean McDonald. Does come to Shane. It. Great block. I think getting in there was uh, Aiden Mellis. Cool to have it back though. Shane wanted it, doesn't get it. Who's going to get out in front? Luke Corkin absolutely stuck to Niall Carthy. Stephen O'Connor it was yeah. trying to shovel it away now is Sean Warren I think we'll have a clash ball yeah, great pressure from Stephen O'Connor there he wasn't giving an inch or letting, letting his man get away with the ball really strong take from Shane Durkin Stephen O'Connor it's a little bit loose but it is poked on brilliantly by McDwyer McMorrow Lambert, risky but it worked out. Is that Keeney all the way back on the 65? It's a score, it's a great score. It's a fantastic score, it is the one and only Connell Keeney. Yeah, well spotted, or, by, or brilliant score by Connell there. Uh, he's drifting out from the full forward line a bit there, picked up the ball and he, he nailed scores like that. Scored 1-1 in the county final last year, unfortunately for him he was on the losing side. That's a cooler ball.
David Tracy. Ballyboden had the bodies back and it's just swept away by Durkin. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, and Khan was lurking there. It was well read by Shane. He had to get that right. Defender gets there. Trying to run his way out there is Colm O'Farrell. He was brought to ground as a free out. David Tracy hitting it across, aiming at Niall Carthy. Carthy again trying to get away from Connor. And O'Connor a little bit loose with the hurley. It's a free in. Yeah, it was a good ball in by Dave. They're looking to do it quick. They're looking for the, the quick ball inside. And there's, go there's good movement inside as well. So great run by Niall Carty and Stephen. Um, Niall was getting inside goal side. So Stephen maybe, you know, um, smart enough conceding a free. Good chance for Dave. Uh a good scoring chance for David to get a, a, an early free and get on the board. You'd expect him to put it over. One from play already. It's a good score. Collected well. Shannon. Carthy. Just took his eye off it at the last second and then he's wrapped up by Shane Durkin. Carthy trying to stay strong over it. Durkin gets it away. Yeah, Bad Bowden have started well. There's great pressure around the field. They're, you know, not letting any of the cool players settle on the ball as well. So we said they might be a little bit, uh, you know. Kula would have an, a, an edge on, you know, on, on having a tough game coming into this, but it doesn't seem to have uh, played out like that. Killian Shannon will strike the line ball. Rolls it into the path of O'Flynn. Keeney got his stick on it, put it out of play, line ball to Kula. Killian Shannon. It's one to chase. O'Callaghan gets there. Two around him. O'Callaghan, who can't get out of tight corners, tries to take it on. Off the woodwork. Bounces kindly for red rather than blue. Great finish. Smashing goal by Sean Moran. Yeah, what a goal, what a finish. It was brilliant play by Khan initially, um, you know, managed to shrug off the defender, but the break and ball, Sean Moran the first to react, and he showed a huge level of composure there uh, to take the ball, take his steps, you know, and steady up and get a rocket to the net, unstoppable. Here we go again. Timlin racing in. He has O'Callaghan inside. Timlin tries to take it on himself. He was crowded out, but he's won the free. Yeah. Sean Moran got two goals against uh, Barry Bowden in the final last year. He's already got one in the quarterfinal this year. Yeah, he's shown how versatile of a player he is as well. But, I mean, you have to admire the composure there. He, he picked the ball. No sense of panic pushing. And, you know, really steadied, waited for the right time. And he wasn't going to miss. He was a rifle. Finn had no chance in goal. Um, so they backed it up. Simon Timlin surging forward there as well. Was really looking for a runner off his shoulder. Um, but a great surge forward. And another probably easy free for, for David Tracy. <laughs> I think that might be Stephen O'Connor who's being spoken to by the referee. And a yellow card for O'Connor who... You don't want that early, do you? As a, no, corner, as a, as a cornerback. Yeah. Last thing you want is to draw the attention of the referee and especially you don't want to get a card and he's got both. So Tracy, they to score his they third didn't point. didn't want to concede another goal now. <laughs> Straight after it either, in fairness. So... Goals win games, they also open up games. The referee has spotted something else there. We'll just go with the puck out again. Taken very well. 
Can Bally Bowden respond? McMorrow comes out to meet it. Con O'Callaghan does very well. McMorrow tries to win it on the second attempt again. O'Callaghan holds it up. Roll lifted into the hand by Sean McDonald. McDonald throws it outside for McMorrow from a very tight angle. Brilliant score. Brilliant Great score. point. Yeah, Sean McDonald was falling over. He done ex exceptionally well to get the hand pass off to Niall. And Niall, a cute angle there as well. He's got his third point from play. Super score. He's having a stormer. One between them. It's living up to the billing so far, isn't it? Ah, yeah, look. Wishing you've top quality hurlers all, all over the place as well. So, Was there a tug there on Conor Callahan as he went for that? Referee says no. He's back where he's needed. Conal Keeney, his strength is in addition to any line on the pitch. Niall Ryan, he can really move with the ball. Great pass. John Maguire ran out of room, ran out of space, does well to win the free. Yeah, John Maguire done well there because, you know, it was a brilliant pass in by Niall Ryan. Great vision. Uh, and John Maguire had shaken off the defender, had a bit of space. It, it, they could have closed it up fairly quickly, but he, he kept his composure and drew in a drew in a foul as well and a, an easy chance for Niall. But a great vision by, Ni or by Niall Ryan to, to pick out John and, and see him in that, that, uh, that area of space. McMorrow is about to make it five points, which isn't bad considering there's only 14 minutes gone. As you'd expect, he zips that one over. Two from freeze for McMorrow, three from play. And we're all square. McDonald lets it slip out of his hands, trying to get there is Rob Leddy. Who can dig this one out? Who can get it into the hand? The referee says no one. That's why he's going to go for the clash ball to throw in. Breaks for Kula. He certainly has the speed to get away, David Tracy. Popped it off, good score. Yeah, Dave, very sharp onto the break there. Um, space was opening up, there was a, a big opportunity there as well. and Got, got the pop off, great score. John Shane and tapping it over in the end. That goes loose, it's going to be collected by Malone. Yeah, it was a bad collision there in fairness, they were just unlucky. They it's uh, Rob Leddy and Sean McDonald. McDonald looks okay. I think he's walking away, but I think it's Simon, Simon Lambert, is it? It was Rob Leddy who's down. Yeah, I think it was Simon Lambert kind of came into the back of him. It's the water break. And I think the players could do with the break because it has been fast and intense so far and there has been many highlights. Kula le leading by a, a point uh, at the end of the first quarter. Let's have a look at some of the highlights so far. Yeah, Pally Bowden, good start. Niall McMurrow on fire inside and, you know, on, on Kane O'Callaghan, who's a, you know, a top, top corner back. So, um, you know, they re really got into the game early. Um, you know, Kula bouncing back. It's tip for tat, really. And obviously then we had the... The, the big goal opportunity and Conor Callahan had done great work to get to make room for himself get the shot broke down off the post and Sean Moore and Sean shown exceptional composure to uh, you know compose himself you know make the room for himself and just rifle it to the net um, but yeah it's been good some lots of good scores all around and uh, you know it, it's living up to its bill and kind of as as uh, as the tie of the round Oshin I think you know it certainly is is there any changes that you can see either team making at this early stage or will they be happy enough no it's just it's just funny to see some of the some of the, like Simon Lambert gone to centre forward there as well um, so look managements obviously are coming up with their plans and trying to change things around and, and you know maybe surprise the oppositions as well so uh, just interesting to see but 
Look, no, no, it's good. We, we've got a lot of, there's a lot of talent on the bench as well. So you'll see maybe teams as, as the game progresses, and I'm sure running in lads as well and mixing it up. But uh, yeah, no, all square. So looking forward to the, looking forward to the second quarter. If it's as good as the first, we're in for a treat. And it does appear like Rob Letty is okay. The knock came at a good time if there's such a thing. Had the water break to recover. Sean Brennan launches the free. Conor Callahan is trying to get under it. Breaks kindly for Bally Bowden trying to sweep it away with Mellet. Goes loose. Carthy's on the chase. The free out is given. McGarry has played underage for Dublin in the past. Batting it down was Lambert. He's so strong. Shannon gets his pass away. Malone cooler run rather than play. That was Michael Conroy. They've done really well. Streaking down the wing is Killian Shannon. They move the ball so well as well. Great take by O'Flynn. O'Flynn. That's an excellent score from Dermot O'Flynn. Yeah, what a score. Look, we know how fluid cool it can be. And it nearly looked like they'd overplayed it, but they kept the composure, got it to O'Flynn, and out in the wing. Uh, Nails a great score. If memory serves, he made his championship debut for Kula in an All-Ireland Club semi-final. Not you a bad way to start your club career. You'd take that all right, wouldn't you? You would indeed, yeah. Can play everywhere. Um, Dermot O'Flynn. Jake Malone. He's a man who's... Able to pop up in a multiple of positions. Connell Keeney steals that one. That's a super score. Super score. That's a great score by Keeney. His second of the game. He got the swing off there in no time. Literally the ball broke to him. And he, right out on the sideline. Uh, managed to get the swing off. Push in a super score. Brennan just launches it. Trying to get there is Dermot O'Flynn. Policed by Durkin. It's cool a ball. Durkin isn't impressed. David Tracy will take it. My fancy a pop at this one. I think he will. Short. Work something short. Oh, it's intercepted. Away it goes from Durkin. Maguire just slips at the wrong time. Connell Keeney making it difficult for Malone. Malone goes out. It is a Bally Bowden ball. That is brilliant work from yeah, Connell Keeney and that's the physicality of Connell as well he's, he's a hugely powerful man there so at the second I seen um, the second I seen Michael coming out there I knew he was going to be under pressure because Connell was coming in to meet him so great work Simon Lambert Lambert swings it's going to drop that's caught brilliantly by O'Callaghan. Swatted out to Malone. What can the Kula forwards do here? They're outnumbered, but they still win it through Conor Callaghan. Conor Callaghan has an option in O'Flynn, but he takes it on himself and sticks it over. Yeah, look, he read that from a long way away. Con, the ball went over the top and ran on and, and picked it up, so... There's a man down yeah, for Ballyboden. I think it's Rob Leddy again. If Khan gets onto any sort of breaking ball like that as well, he just, you know, he'll make that room for himself and get a score. So what a tread in there. So far it's the goal that is the difference. Kula by two. A great goal, well taken by Sean Moran. I think the referee is going to go in and have a look or well have a chat with the umpires Consult, huh? have a look in a sense that he's going to hear what happened through them see what they saw with their eyes
Earlier on, Kilmacud Croaks taking on Plunkets. We won't spoil it for you if you want to watch it back. You can do so via Dubs TV. The draw for the semi finals, by the way, coming up live here on Dubs TV after this game. Will that be after an hour or will that be after extra time and possibly penalties? It has to end today. Slipping out of the hand of Sean McDonald. Kula try and take it. McDonald gets it back. Stephen O'Connor. Aiming it down towards McMorrow. O'Callaghan breaks it brilliantly. O'Callaghan steals away with this. O'Callaghan, he hadn't much room to work with, but he did brilliantly. Tracy intercepted. Play will stop. Free into Kula. Yeah, Keane. Keane is a real is a real driving force for Kula, you know, and even if even if his man maybe gets a couple of points or whatever, there's no sense of a head being dropped or anything like that. So he just gets on with the game and keeps driving the team forward as well. Um so Huge lift for Kula having him back inside there and a powerful run out to, you know, really lift Kula. David Tracy from a long way out. The breeze is against him, but it's not that stiff. He's going for it, that is certain. And he's getting it. That is definite. Just drops over. A lovely strike from David Tracy. And, you know, what an asset there having a long range free taker that can score score them. Durkin. O'Connor. They're saying he caught it twice there. Mac Morrow. Trying to shake off the defender. Has McDonald as an option. Doesn't go to him. McDonald, having received it well from Lambert. Keeney Mellis I beg your pardon that's actually James Madden that's a super score and that's a great Shane. score yeah look that's great composure great link up play by the Ballyboden players as well uh, linking it getting it to the right man James Madden coming forward and nailing it over the bar Madden with the Levin on his back but he's, he's playing centre back Conroy who's played for the Dublin under 20s that's a really fine catch oh Flynn Shannon from a long way out Killian Shannon hits it wide I think he'll be disappointed with that Killian Shannon yeah O'Flynn had done great work again running at the defence drawn, drawn men in as well so David Tracy win, winning ball again trying to sweep it up as Niall Carty Carty up against O'Connor Carty Really fine score from Niall Carty. Yeah, they're the ones when you're, you're shooting from them angles, O'Shane, you want to be making sure to go over, but it's a great score by Niall Carty. Did his cruciate a few years back, but still very strong, still very fast. It's collected well by Lambert. Good stick pass. This is Madden. Madden had McDonald inside, but instead shoots... Yeah, the score and was sticks there. it over. Simon Lambert, uh, you know, seeing James making the run straight to hand. James doesn't have to break momentum there. And, you know, a lovely strike. Still cooler by two. David Tracy tries to get there running after it as well. Darrow O'Connell. Free in for Kula. Yeah, Dara onto the break there, lightning quick around the middle there as well. So himself and David Tracy are linking up on the out on the wing quite well. Exquisite score from David Tracy. He's now on four for the game from place balls and, of course, one from play. Yeah, he looks in good form. Doesn't look like he's going to miss any, so... Body won't, won't want to be conceding uh, many frees. James Madden. Dances past Sean Moore. Trying to get to him now is Carthy. Intercepted by O'Callaghan. He's having a fine game. Carthy leaves it behind him. Kula trying to sweep it up through Tracy. It falls to blue rather than wet red. Sean McDonald takes a big hit there from Malone but keeps his composure. Ball goes loose. Lambert. Wide. Just to the left. Good passage of play there. Great, great competing for the ball. Blocks, uh, shoulders. Um, and that's what we expected, Oshin. 
Sean Tracy. Well taken by Timlin. Con O'Callaghan out in front as you would expect. Turns his man and there's danger for any team that allows him to turn. Oh. Off the woodwork. Oh. It worked out last time. Might work out again this time. Trying to step inside is O'Flynn. Loses yeah. possession. Yeah. Stephen O'Connor takes the ball. Falls to Moran, but it's a free out. Yeah, probably as he was falling, uh, Flynn, there was, uh, um, Nick Niall Carty was inside. He Probably if he if he'd have popped a little hand pass into him, there was a, a great opportunity for a goal again. But again, just seeing how threatening and cool it can be when they move the ball at a pace. Great take by Lambert. I don't think it's going to be a great score by Lambert. He hits it wide. Yeah, it was a good pass by, by uh, Finn. Simon will be disappointed with that. It's a good opportunity for a score. Brendan aiming it out towards O'Flynn. Shannon. Shannon, who has played intercounty hurling for Cavan, hooked by McDonald. Free out. Yeah, it's brilliant tracking back there by Sean McDonald again, getting the hook. Got great pressure again. Kula always looking for that runner off the shoulder and um, you know trying to trying to break that game line as well. So. That breeze has picked up a bit. Durkin. Breaks Connolly for Kula. Colin O'Farrell, who played underage with Dublin and went to America. He's only back a couple of years. Wasn't even in the second team for Kula last year. He's worked hard and now he finds himself in the top team. James oh, Madden. What a score. Casual as you like from Madden. He's third of the game. Yeah, he's looking looking very composed every time. You know, he's well used to playing out the field and, and midfield as well. So he's very comfortable coming forward like that as well. And well able to score. Running out to try and meet this one is Moran. Eyed it up, thought about shooting. I'm not sure if that's a dropping ball or a shot. Either way, it doesn't work out. McGarry. McMorrow tries to get out there. McMorrow catches a lucky break here. McMorrow. O'Callaghan brings him down. That's a free in. Yeah, Niall done brilliantly there from the ball from Finn. You know, he was outnumbered. Two on one against Jake Malone and Ken O'Callaghan. Managed to come away with it there and, and win a free. Great work by Niall. Yeah, he can compose himself here. Another opportunity uh, for a score rushing. You'd back him to score this, the form he's in. He certainly would. Five already today, two from freeze. No problem, as you would expect. Just got away from Carthy. Stephen O'Connor did really well. Got a little tap in there. Niall Ryan. Ryan is going for that. But not getting it. Yeah, in fairness, there, was, there wasn't many options inside. From He had a look. There, there wasn't too many guys inside, uh, inside looking for the ball. So it was probably the right option to have a pop. O'Farrell. Aiming it down towards O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan can't keep it alive. It's wide. There was a number of players inside the 20 meter line, so I think he's telling Finn McGarry go again. It's been an exciting game. Taking a bounce there was Dar O'Connell. It is a Ballyboden ball. Not of air on that one. That's caught inside. I wasn't quite sure who got it. It was Conroy and then there was a foul. It's a free out. Yeah, it was a lovely take by Conroy. Dangerous dropping ball in, in around the square, you know. So 
that's what you want your defender to, to be coming away with it. So great take and relieves the pressure there. Certainly does. For a brief second, for a split second, I thought John Maguire had got it in hand. Ball is spilled and collected by Simon Lambert. We'll have to stop play. Yeah, just unfortunately the lads kinda kinda ran into each other. Hopefully they're they're okay. Cool up. not just the champions but the standard setters over the last couple of years. Two all Ireland titles. Yeah, phenomenal phenomenal achievement, does Shane, isn't it? It is indeed. Valley Bowden have enjoyed their own success over the last couple of years. Leinster, though, has eluded them in, or has evaded them, I should say, in hurling. Not football, but hurling. Now, I imagine they're not thinking about that quite yet because there's an awful lot of work to do in Dublin, but generally whoever wins Dublin, you'd fancy them for the provincial title. They'd certainly be in the reckoning. Gary will take this one. Referee, what's he saying? Someone is down inside the square. It is Niall McMorrow. McGarry will go again. Jim Nufflin dropped backwards to cover Luke Corcoran, who's round midfield. McCarry told to go back a bit. <laughs> I think he was trying to steal a few <laughs> yards there. He fancied a pop, but they're, they're working it here between themselves. Durkin. McGarry has to be careful. <laughs> McGarry almost losing it. Con O'Callaghan pouring the pressure on. Here's Durkin. He just fires it away. It's going to drop inside the square. It's dangerous. Who's it going to break to? He just couldn't quite make it his, Conal Keeney. Might fall into the path of Mellis. Mella couldn't take it. Keeney still battling for it. McDonald trying to get there. Think we might have to go for a clash ball here. No, it does spill out. McDonald leaves it behind. Collected bravely by John Shannon. And it's a free. Yeah, another intense pa passage of play there again. Probably started off with Finn and Shane Durkin trying to pass the ball around at the back. Finned it very well to get he away. He did, and I, I mean, he turned around and he'd spilled it, and Con O'Callaghan's coming at you as well, so he he done well to work it back and, and clear the ball. And another intense passage of play down at the at the Kula goal mount as well, so great competing for the ball and yep. battling going on. Well, we're almost at half time. I think both sets of players could do with the break. John McGuire is being spoken to there. Is he going in the book? Yes, he is. Maguire, yellow card. Brennan. Half time. Pally Bowden trailing by one against the county champions, Kula. 110 to 12 points. It has been very entertaining so far, Dotsio Callahan. Yeah, look, it's a contest, Oshin. That's what we wanted. That's what we expected. So a point in it. Uh, cool it up by a point. Um, just, you know, some, some great intense play. Great battles going on as well. As we said, the pitch is, you know, it's getting a little bit soft as well. It's it's kind of allowing ball slow down and, and get that opportunity for kind of for rooks as well and, and, and real scrappy fighting, dogged ball as well. So, um yeah, look, Kula as well, working some great scores. And you know, we've seen James Madden coming up from centre-back as well. Really, you know, an, an attacking threat. Um, Bally Bowden picking him out and surging forward and getting scores as well. So, uh, look, this threat, Con O'Callaghan here again. Anytime he kind of gets the ball, he can make room for himself and, and can pop a score as well. So, uh, look, as we said, so many top-quality hurlers around the pitch. It's, it's making for a good game as well. So, we've seen some long... David Tracy is, is in form on his freeze. Niall McMurrow is flying it as well from open play and freeze as well um so yeah it's a 
it's certainly certainly close and certainly an enjoyable match and um, you'd certainly think that it's going to continue on in this way as well. And it's even harder nearly to call now than it was at the start. Yeah, yeah, it is. Look, it's it's just as it's, as we said, Oshin, they're two kind of. I think they're the two kind of you know kingpins of Dublin hurling really, and they've set, set the standards over the last kind of decade. And uh, you know, teams kind of a lot of the uh, the the stalwarts there and gelling in with new players as well. And you know, so it's just just intriguing to see now who can kind of kick on and you know as we say that third quarter who, is there, who, who can make a break for it maybe um, you know as we said the goals you know who's looking more threatening Kula looking slightly more threatening for it to score a goal to me they are um, so if that opportunity comes if they could get a goal or two that could be the difference um, but listen a goal can come out of anything as well but you know it'll be it'll be interesting to see could Bally Bowden work it and, and it, you know I think something like that would be a huge fill up for them and would drive them on as well but yeah it's certainly um certainly going to continue on um in a in a close manner i would i would i would think okay well it's half time in the fourth and final quarter final of the weekend here in the go ahead dublin senior hurling championship remember we'd love to hear from you via twitter at wgaa official and you can hashtag go ahead dsha uh, bally bowden trailing by one against kula kula 110 bally bowden 12 points we'll be back with the second half live, stay with us on Dubs TV.
We're about to start the second half. Ballyboden against Kula. One point between them. Kula, the champions of last year, leading against Ballyboden, the team they beat in the final. It was intense at times in the first half. We saw some good skills, but we also saw a lot of battling. The rooks will be key here. Malone slips. It's intercepted and racing away as a new man in. Pierce Christie. I thought he'd start. You can see now why he's been brought in. Christie, can McMorrow finish this? Yes, he can. Yeah, Pierce Christie has been has come in. I think he's centre forward. Simon Lambert has gone back centre back as well on um, on Dermot O'Flynn as well. What a run by Pierce Christie! Great, you know, great threat there coming forward as well. And there was a hint of a goal chance there as well. But great start for Ballyboden. He's just an immense presence, Christie. He injects such pace and speed in there. Stephen O'Connor can't win the ball. Carty goes to ground, wins the free in. Yeah, it kind of worked. I think he was falling as he was kind of, he ducked down and done well to win the free there. David Tracy, needless to say, will step up and take it. Four points for him from freeze in the first half. Senior A and Senior B semi-final draws coming up after this game, by the way, as well. So you'll find out who's playing who in the last four. We first have to find out who the last of the last four is. And we will find out today, by the way. It has to end today, this game. Tracy... There's some debate. Yeah, Dave. Wide says the ref, Dave Ashton. I think the ref's going to go to the Lions man here. It was very tight. Yeah, Dave, see, Dave, I think, was convinced it was over. It looked slightly inside to me, but... Here we go. It's a human Hawkeye today. Finn McGarry, as you would expect, is protesting. <laughs> I think he's given it, yeah. Over it goes, David Tracy. You just know this game is going to be decided by a point, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Connell Keeney loses it, stolen back by David Tracy. Those two have battled together in blue for many, many years. Kind of falls the way of the cooler man. That's Shannon. Then he drops it. Then gets it back. Then gets his strike. Well, he doesn't Touch. get his strike away. Great block by Durkin. Connell Keeney. McMorrow slips, and it just allows O'Callaghan onto it. Pierce Christie now in hot pursuit. He won't get away from Christie, so he has to turn back and give it to Malone. Malone slamming out of defence. An orthodox hand pass, but it does work out. O'Flynn. Timlin good block by Keeney it was too casual by Timlin Keeney shortens the grip and scoops it outside good pass by Lambert Niall Ryan can he use his pace to open up Kula he has the free even if he misses which he does so it will be a place ball for McMorrow yeah it was great work initially by Conal Keeney uh, I think he got a block on Simon Timlin got it to Simon Lambert out to Niall Ryan then as well and Niall Ryan when he great engine loves attacking uh, you know breaking that half back line and uh, you know the Kula defence were aware of that tread as well and obviously pulled them back as well so um, good break from Ballyboden and a good chance here to uh, to level it up it's a beautiful winter's day am I allowed to say winter's day even though it's only October which is technically autumn yeah, well, it's a nice day anyway yeah. the winter sun is shining or the autumn sun whatever way you want to put it either way it's as good as it can be for hurling at this time of year conditions wise Good score by McMorrow. Brennan. That's going to drop in around the 20th. You're Huge right, it's massive. Out. Bounces kindly for McGarry. One goalkeeper to another. McGarry goes to ground. Will he get the free? He won't need it. He's rescued by Madden, but Madden lets it drop. in the hand of a cooler player who is his jersey tugged it's a free in it was Jimmy O'Flynn yeah. showing his strength there's no surprise to see him coming out with the ball as well he's a, a real powerful powerful hurler and you know he's, he's great in them situations um, you know what a ball to be winning there and, and winning a free for your team there an easy score for Dave Tracy will tap this one over maybe he'll go for gold there's a little gap open there 
You'd go for that one yourself, would you? I would, yeah. <laughs> I'll say it to David after the game as well. Good point, David, but you really should be going for goal from there. I wonder what his response will be. Probably something along the lines of, that's why you're a junior F. Great Niall run. Ryan, great run, brilliant take. Yeah. He's got a man inside. I think that's uh, Luke McDwyer or uh, John McGuire. It was neither. It was Luke McDwyer. Well, it was one of the two. Anyway, it's Luke McDwyer. It's loose pass. Christie picks it up. Christie can't get his hand pass. Well, he can get his hand pass away, but it was intercepted. Away it goes from John Shannon. There was a foul there on O'Flynn, and it's a free in. You could just see the intensity of the uh, backline play. Kula just wouldn't let them out. Wouldn't let them have any f time and space. The pass from Christie was intercepted. and Kula got it away and they won the free. Paul Ryan. I think he's is, is in as well, yeah, is he? Yeah, he is in, yeah. Yeah, he is. inside with Niall McMorrow as well so uh, he'd be a, a huge threat there as well if they can if Bally Bowden can get the ball on him we know what he can do um, get a score out of nothing as well and create a goal as well so Tracy from right out the country puts it over it's so reliable O'Shane you know yep. you're nearly backing him they're, they're, they're not exactly simple and easy phrase as well but you're nearly uh, backing him to nail all them Don't forget more live action coming up midweek on Wednesday. Castle not taking on Ballantyre St. John's in the Go Ahead Dublin Senior Football Championship quarterfinal playoff. It's because they couldn't be separated in the group, so they had to play off. McDonald looking for time, looking for space, looking for Keeney and finding him. Keeney. Straying off the face of Golden Wide. Yeah, Finn McGarry is playing some great puck outs as well. He's finding Niall Ryan who's breaking to the breaking out to the either wing, you know, and uh, Finn is spotting him with some uh, superb puck outs. Good take by Carty. Good turn as well. Trying to get away from Durkin. Inside goes behind Dermot O'Flynn. O'Flynn still getting it forward even though he lost control. Ball scrambling around there. Could be Moran again. Couldn't get the contact he wanted. Yeah. And it's gone wide. Yeah, Sean Moran sniffing around again and nearly broke to him. And there was nearly another another goal chance in there as well. And again, coming from O'Flynn, Connell had done Connell Keeney had done well to come back there and uh, put um, Dermot under pressure there as well. Christy. McDonald. Shane is stuck to him. Christy trying to get it. Christie can't break past Malone. McDonald. Kula have stolen it back, but they've given away the free. In fairness to Sean McDonald, very strong over the ball there as well, and got got really over it, and uh, you know drew in the foul. Paul Ryan going straight onto the freeze as well. No surprise there. Ryan to make it a one point game doesn't catch it right he didn't step into it well Shannon O'Callaghan Shannon and I think it might be McMorrow have a little tangle off the ball we might come back to that storming forward is Conroy Conroy on the second attempt tried to slip it through to Carty falls the way of Keeney Keeney's broken his hurley great win of the ball by Kula just getting in there was Paul Ryan and it's a free. Right. It's not for the faint-hearted out there, is it? No, no, it's full-blooded, full-blooded stuff, Shane. That's what we want. <laughs> it's funny to see Paul straight onto the free as well. Though I know he's such a good free taker as well, but Niall had been hitting him well. Yep. And had I don't think he'd missed one as well. So, I mean, I don't I don't know if Paul had touched the ball. So your first touch of the ball, you know. Tracy no moving him off the freeze
Good score. He scored four frees alone in the second half. Yeah, they're just keeping that little bit of a cushion, you know, whether it's two or three points, you know, so Ballybowden have to eat into it. It's a tight, tight game. They need to get a, a couple of points on the trot and really get back into this. Christy. Down towards McMorrow, who is out in front. Oh, he left it behind. O'Callaghan tries to steal it. Keeney's in there. Breaks kindly for O'Callaghan. You can just see it bobbling along the ground. Can O'Callaghan turn? It's Con from Keane. Con still going. Con taps it over. Good score from him. Second of the game. One in either half. Yeah, look at the, the ball that went in. It was Keane, brother to uh, brother, uh, brother to brother, and Keane, you know Con inside at space like that. Uh, it's a very dangerous situation to be in for any team allowing that. And he just held off, you know, held off um, Luke Corcoran really well. Let it run on. And once he got that room, he was always going to make room for the score just came off the stick of McDoor great take from Madden popped off to McDoor McDoor into the corner just beats Paul Ryan but he'll have another go off this Conroy does really well O'Farrell Tracy O'Callaghan there to meet it again O'Connor sweeps it away. McGarry wants it. Well spotted by Finn. Yeah, great ball. Very well taken by Aidan Mellet. Passes it into a bit of a crowd. Christie was the aim, but it was almost impossible for him to win it. But they have done ridiculously well. McMorrow hooked. But does he get the point anyway? Got it. Yeah, it's a brilliant score. He was under huge pressure there. As David Tracy kind of running straight at him there, and a super score and a much needed score for Ballyboden as well. I thought he'd been hooked. You hear of players losing it in the sun. I think I lost it in the sun there as well. Great take by Carty. He has the pace to open up defences. Carty. Just to the left. Wide. Yep. It's been brilliant movement for the puck outs with Shane uh, Finn and Sean Brennan in fairness to be picking out players some super runs and um, well, there's the, there's the comment commentators course anyway it happens but, uh, but uh, now in fairness both keepers have been finding lads running onto ball it's, and you know setting up attacks straight away so it's been very impressive Out of the bunker it goes, intercepted. A shot from a long way off. It's yeah. a banger of a shot from Niall Ryan. Niall Ryan on, on the attack, great score again. And that's what we said, Ballyboden need to get a couple of points on the trot. And somebody out there celebrating that score. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks on <laughs> and off the pitch. Kind of lose their effect during the daytime, don't they? <laughs> Colm O'Farrell goes off. We were talking about him earlier on. A pretty amazing story of battling his way in to the Senior A team, having come back from America a few years ago, not even being in the Senior B's last year. Mellet. Christie was the aim. Malone is it intercepting it. Malone. Down towards Sean Moore. Following him, Madden. Moore twisting in and out and basically passing it back to Finn McGarry Mellis Durkin is further up the pitch that's the option he goes to McMorrow is racing ball. to get there great catch by McMorrow is he fouled yeah. referee says yes yeah that was a great ball by Shane I think he was nearly kind of he was nearly telling Niall where to run and in fairness landed it right on him there great take by Niall and really strong there and rightly a free in for Ballyboden so they've got it you know this can get it down to one point game as well they're, they're you know getting into their into their groove a little bit as well so Ryan will have another go missed one before but it was from a very well, not tight angle, but it was from fairly far out. Good score, Paul Ryan. First since coming in. A 
One between them, coming up to the water break. One between them, Kula having been awarded a controversial point earlier in the half. Ball breaks. Lambert stealing away. Mellet. Mellet looking for Christie. McMorrow is there. Christie scooped it to no one. Christie wins it back. Brilliant stuff. Can Christie run onto his own breaking ball? Swept away brilliantly by Timlin. Malone. O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan goes to ground, spills it. Mellick does intercept. And it's a free to Kula. Yeah, it's a bit unlucky. It's great pressure from both teams, in fairness. Uh, you know, no quarter asked they're given, and, you know, some great hits, and, you know, all, all honest tackles, all honest hits as well. So maybe a bit, uh, a bit lucky for Kula to get a free here for Dave. But some great battling going on, and great, uh, yeah, it's great to see Oshin. Jack Lahart right into the thick of it. Not long off the bench. He's a he's a real battler. He's been unlucky with injuries at times. Yeah, I've marked him a few times, Oshin. He's a, a tenacious player. Quite a tenacious player. You had that look in your eyes <laughs> like you didn't enjoy the experience, like I was bringing back bad memories. Yeah, he played against us in an intermediate final a couple of years ago with Marks. And certainly it wasn't, a, it wasn't an easy afternoon. Tracy nails it. Five alone for him in the second half from freeze. He got four frees in the first half as well as one from play, so he's on ten points. We're at the water break. We'll have a look at some of the highlights of the third quarter in a second, but what have you made of the game? Ah, listen, it's it's what we expected, isn't it? It's it's tight, it's tough, and you know I think it's some real, real honest kind of tackling and and uh, and pressure by both teams as well. So look, it's 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 beautifully poised, isn't it? It's uh, looking forward to the last quarter here, and uh, look, there's some some great scores and some great link up play as well. Um, you know, David Tracy has been really good on the freeze there as well. Uh, I think Dermot O'Flynn is causing huge problems with his physicality and his just you know willingness to. To, to take the game to, to Ballyboden as well but I mean the last couple of minutes there we've seen Ballyboden really kind of get into it and you know they've been clipping scores and they're 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 using each other well they're you know Niall Ryan is is is, is well able to take a long range point as well we've seen Niall Sean hard and winning 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 ball as well um but yeah no it's it's look it's it's all to play for some great kind of some great scores as well out on the wing, and here we have Niall Ryan coming forward here with the with a long range special of his great ball carrier as well, well able to you know any time he he he's running at them as well. Cooler fully aware of that, and he's won a few frees as well. Um, David Tracy on the frees, I, I don't know has he missed on Oshin, um, but he's been exceptional on them so far. Um, so yeah, no, look, it's 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 nicely poised going into the last uh, last fifteen here, and the crowd are getting uh, revved up for it here as well. So. All to play for. 15 minutes to go. More if we need it, by the way. It has to end today. Extra time and penalties if it's level at the end of normal time. Kula against Ballyboden. A real arm less wrestle. A really tough and tight encounter. We'd love to hear from you. At Dub GAA Official is the Twitter account. And you can hashtag go ahead DSHA. The draw for the Senior A and Senior B semi finals coming up after this game. Will it be Kula or will it be Bally Bowden who'll be joining the other three? Ball over the top. Who's it going to break to? Connell Keeney, desperate to get it in hand. Keeney goes to ground. Referee says no free. Keeney's still down, so he'll have to stop play because that is a head injury. Yeah, he kind of ran into to Keeno, Col Keeno Callahan there as well, so sometimes you'd see a free given for it. Hopefully he's okay. He did kind of... It, it was a head collision as well, so... Yeah. Keeney and O'Callaghan colliding. You could actually <laughs> feel the earth tremble. Absolutely, absolutely. But I mean, that, that from a from a cooler perspective here, like if you look up in their forwards, or in there, all the space is there, like from a forwards point of view, like if it's set up, this is what you want. It's kind of crowded in their, you know, their defensive area. And so if they can pick up ball and break out here, you're, you know, cool to have space in the forwards if they can use that space and, and you know, isolate their, their forwards in there, they could do a lot of damage. Well, Ballyboden would be hoping Keeney's okay. He's such a big presence for them in every sense. 
A great ball winner as well, and he can win ball no matter where he, he is, including again. on the ground, on his knees. <laughs> Brilliant from Keeney. McMorrow couldn't keep it on target. Connell done brilliantly to win it straight up after the the initial uh, you know the initial play and, and popped it out to Niall so that was a great opportunity there it's a great ball by Sean Brennan fantastic catch Jeremy Dufflin Stephen O'Connor shadowing him O'Flynn breezing past him off the stick from O'Flynn and over the crossbar got it a great score he, he you know after he knew he'd cut it twice had to hit it off the stick but he he really kind of you know, tempted Stephen O'Connor to come in and, and get the tackle and drew it in and then took him on. So it was good forward play by Dermot. He had Con O'Callaghan inside. I wonder was he tempted to go for him. Good turn by Mellet. Three between them. Mellet. Madden. Madden looking for McDwyer. Good save. Sean Brennan does what he always does for Kula. Stands Six up. Mm -hmm. They've 65. given away to 65, but it could have been far, far worse. Yeah, yeah, it was good play by ba James Madden again, surging forward as well, and popped it inside to to uh, Luke McDwyer. And fairness, his angle was tight, and Sean Brennan read it well. Uh, top quality keeper read the angle well, came out and smothered the chance. So, um, good chance for Ballyboden, but uh, you know they can get a point out of it at least here if Paul can nail the sixty-five. Paul Ryan got it scores it good score Sean Tracy I think is down seems in a bit of bother it's never good when they're kind of walking gingerly like that is it no. and the keeper is indicating that he has to go off He's definitely off. Yeah, Sean is a real link player for them, you know, picks up a lot of ball, links up the play well. Yeah. Um has been a brilliant player for them over the last number of years, so I'm fortunate to see him uh see him coming off. And in for Kula is Colm Shannon. Well, he's not lacking experience, that's for sure and certain. Absolutely, yeah. Falls for Mellet. Mellet has a look up, farms it long. Niall McMorrow is trying to get there, as is Keeney. Great take from McMorrow. Christy makes a run off him, but there's a good distance between them. So McMorrow takes it on. And misses. Yeah, another good chance. Great ball in. And Niall had broke away. So, Bally Bowden. Disappointed to miss that one. That's a miscue, I think it's fair to say, from Brennan. Or maybe it was misread by the outfielders. A little bit too much on that pass. McDonald tries to make it his, but Conroy steals it. That's a lovely flick back inside by David Tracy into the path of John Shannon. Shannon gets away. Shannon gets a score. Yeah, the ref gave the advantage there. It was a brilliant score. It was real tight on the sideline here. Michael Conroy had done exceptionally well to, you know, to keep the ball moving. And David Tracy with an absolutely superb flick to onto John Shannon who controlled it and kept it in, in, his, in his momentum and surged forward for a, a brilliant score. I think David Tracy knew if he caught that he was going to be bottled <laughs> up and just pushed out over the line. So he just batted it back into the path of Shane yeah, who did really well. Very clever, yeah. Bally Bowden have won a free. Yeah, Niall Ryan again. Sean really hard on the puck outs as well. So he's having a great game there. Important free here for Paul. Another change being made by Kula. I think Kevin Kerwin might be coming in here. Ryan, this is a huge moment for Ballyboden. He's got it. That's a fantastic score. It's a huge free. 
Second one for Ryan. Two between them. Just trying to see if Kula have made that change. It is Kerwin who's come in. Very athletic, can move around. He's exactly what you'd want for a game like this. And it's now Carty who's going off. Similar types of players, Kerwin and Carty. Mellet lets he slip through his fingers. Swept up by Lambert. Intercepted. Kerwin takes it well. Good turn. It's and a good score. shot to boot. It's a great score. Yeah, lovely or lovely but or Michael Conroy or Conroy is reading a lot of the ball, he's doing really well and um superb score. This might seem like a silly statement considering there's only three in it, but is it fair to say Kula are finding the score is easier to come by I than Bally Bowden? I think as Pierce Christie goes looking for one. Christie has pace to burn defenders. Christie bottled up, might fall for McMorrow. There's a scramble here, possession so vital. We'll have to come out for the clash ball. I think he's given or a free. No, it's a free, free in, in yeah. yeah. I don't know as he claimed did he pick it up off the ground, but um Yeah, look, there's nothing in it, Oshin still. Maybe Kular getting it's, it's slightly getting their scores a little bit easier, alright, but Ballybodden are right there, they won't go away and anything um you know, a goal or you know, they could easily get this back, chip it back with a couple of points as well, so there'd be no panic there. So what you're saying is, is he's not going to go for goal. I wouldn't put a pass pal Ryan now. Well, he's up against five Kula men. Ryan doesn't <laughs> go for it. Taps it over. Wise choice. Three for him since coming on at half time. Two between them. A little bit of aggro between McDonnell and um, I think it's Shannon. It is Shannon. Callahan doesn't make it his. Swept up by Luke Corcoran. James Madden. Madden, that's risky. I don't think it pays off. It does. He's got the free out. Yeah, it was a good play initially by Luke Corcoran as well. <coughs> James Madden, he's he's quite comfortable out there and a nice flick over over Khan and managed to win a free out. Connor says via Twitter, Kula looking spicy under that high ball. Keep the pressure on, lads. Remember, you can have your say on this game. At Dub GAA official hashtag go ahead DSHA. The draw for the semi finals of the Senior A and Senior B to come up afterwards. And a free in for Bally Bowden. And this will make it a one point game. Yeah, Niall McMurrow again, Sean. Sean Hard for the ball as well. And it's I think it's been moved up here as well. So an easier chance for Bally Bowden. A bit of back chat maybe. Twenty-two points to twenty made when you make the conversion. This will be tapped over, and then we'll have a grandstand finish. That goal from Sean Moran. It was a big moment. It is the difference still. Kula appear to be making another change. Ono Callahan will come in soon enough. It's time to start thinking about the player of the match. Dotsie, I think you'll have to name whoever that player is in a couple of minutes. It's a very, very tough call today. And at this stage, we don't know if they'll be on the winning or the losing team. McMorrow is still struggling. They'll do all they can to keep him on. This means we'll have a lot of injury time, by the way. So there's two and a half minutes to go, but in truth, probably about six. 
maybe even more. Yeah, Niles had a brilliant game. He's, he's scoring points. He's winning, you know, uh, winning frees. He's been a, a constant turn for 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 the Kula defence. Takes his point. Four for Paul Ryan. One between them. Two minutes plus injury time to go. There will be a lot of injury time. Shannon. Looking to Kerwin. Comes off the hand of Lambert. Kerwin wins it but he lost his stick might get onto it again hacks it but only as far as a blue and white jersey taking off is McDwyer in hot pursuit is Shannon McDwyer tries to find Christie Christie it falls to him despite Conroy's best efforts Christie with the hand pass comes to McMorrow McMorrow pops it to Christie Christie Great it's score. all square Bally Bowden had to work hard for it but eventually they got their point yeah they've kept going you know it hasn't been perfect stuff by any means by Ballybone they just kept in the game they kept clip, clipping away getting their scores winning their frees and now they're back level so um, you know it's anyone's game Oshin. it's knockout hurling whoever loses goes out there's no way back in 2021 scrambling out after it is Shane Stephen O'Connor gets the ball in hand for Ballyboden Durkin looking for McMorrow and finding him good hand pass Sean McDonald will he take it on himself dances past O'Callaghan can he give his team the lead no it's a glorious opportunity here for Ballyboden Niall Sean again out in front winning the ball off to uh, Sean McDonald uh, he'd be disappointed not to, to nail that one it's tough when you're tired but as you say he would tell you himself he should have put that one over O'Connor is going to get onto this great win of the ball from O'Connor Paul Ryan, he could score from here. He is going for it. And he's not going to get it. I know you're having a tough debate there about the player of the match. We'll name that in just a second. Breaks kindly for Durkin. Just wouldn't quite sit up for him, but he, he did eventually get it under control. Mellis. Good take by Mellis. Kerwin won't let him go. Mellis. Three Kula players. One of them dispossesses him. That was David Tracy. Lost his hurley, Kevin Kerwin. Somehow slipped it inside for Shannon. Shannon with the miscue. Goes to ground. He's injured. And we'll have yeah. to stop. It is a free in. Hurley into the helmet. Yeah, it's a good chance for, for Kula to take a one-point lead here. You'd expect David to be able to nail this. Durkin is possibly going into the book here, certainly being ticked. Or is it McDonald? Yellow card for McDonald. Bally Bowden have made a change. David O'Connor is in. David Tracy stands over what could be the winning point if he puts it over. Kula also making a change. I think that's uh, Ono Callahan. It is Ono Callahan. Simon and Timlin has to go off. He's replaced by Ono Callahan. Going off for Bally Bowden, by the way, is Sean McDonald having just picked up that yellow card. I'm not sure if the plan was to take him off anyway, but uh, it's always dangerous when players are on yellow. David Tracy to give his team a late lead. Tracy puts Kula in front. There is still time for Bally Bowden, but it's looking good for Kula, the champions. McGarry. Can Bally Bowden create an opportunity? Stephen O'Connor wins it bravely. Stephen O'Connor, it's going to drop inside. McMorrow's trying to get under it, and it bounces yeah, wide, but there is a free. Yeah, he's given the free. He's given the free for Stephen O'Connor, dri driving forward there as well. Um, so another chance for Bally Bowden to level it up you know what hang on until full time because I'm not sure this is going to stop now I think we might get 
extra time here. I'm talking to uh, Dotsie, by the way, who has to decide on his man of the match, player of the match, I should say. No pressure. But it's difficult to do when you don't that know is, who it win is. yet. I, mean, I think Niall McMurrow's had a great game there. Um, he's been shown all day long. You know, Paul Ryan to equalise. Well. Paul Ryan does equalise. So level, yeah. We've had lots of good performers, O'Shea, so we'll see how this is going to pan out as well. Dermot O'Flynn, I think, has been hugely physical, had a great game as well. Well, we only have one trophy, so we can't give a player of the match for the 60 minutes and a player of the match for extra time. And I think we might well be going to extra time, although there is still probably a few more minutes left of injury time to play. Con O'Callaghan, he wants to end it now. Con O'Callaghan steps up when he's needed, as the great players always do. Yeah, it's just that magic moment. O'Shane, you know, Con O'Callaghan, ball breaks to him and he knows the situation, makes the room for himself and gets a score. Connell Keeney, speaking of great players, can't catch it, but did flick it into the path of his teammate. Yeah. Uh, Power, uh, O'Connor, who wins the free it's in. Free. Da <coughs> Doc, uh, David O'Connor done very well there just to get possession, hold on to the ball very strongly and, and draw the free from, uh, from Dermot O'Flynn. It's a pressure free for Paul Ryan. Four minutes of injury time played. This is potentially the last puck of the ball in normal time. If it goes over, we're probably going to extra time. Ryan does it again. We're Great all score. square. Great score, Shane. Yeah, brilliant score by Paul Ryan. Uh, pressure free. No better man. We may need extra time to separate these two. Dave Ashton, the referee, will play on. There may be one or two more chances. It's going to run. Ball breaks in favour of Kula. David Tracy, can he get there? No, he can't. A brave tackle inside there. Kula get it back it's David Tracy in a tight corner Tracy has to go outside just got away there from Shannon. Luke McDwyer got a touch there crucial touch Shannon can't get it into the hand we might have to go for a throw in here Luke McDwyer got an absolutely crucial interception there it was going into a Kula hand maybe a point scoring opportunity Rob Leddy got an interception close yeah. up to his own line as well Braveness personified from Bally Bowden. This isn't over yet. Who can come up with this rock ball? Who can win the possession? We are going to extra time. Yeah, cool, cool aren't happy. I think uh, Sean Moran had, had won the ball and was breaking out of the, uh, you know, attacking the pit. But the referee obviously blew the whistle and a draw. Yeah, listen, in fairness, O'Shane, I think it's a, uh, you know... A fair enough result I think Bally Bowden done extremely well to claw it back when they were three points down so um, look a real real contest Con O'Callaghan done exceptionally well to put, get a, a point up at the end and David O'Connor then drawn the foul to, to win the, the the free to level it well let's have a look at some of the highlights here. and we will have more highlights to come but these are the highlights of the fourth quarter yeah there's some great link up here by Bally Bowden as well so James Madden Luke, li li uh, linking it out to Luke McDwyer is a great goal opportunity Sean Brennan straight out to it narrow on the angle so they managed to get the point off the goal opportunity um, here we see again Kula surging forward as well so some, some, some great scores as well Paul Ryan on the freeze missed his first one when he came in but I think nailed, na nailed nearly all of them after it and a crucial one there pressure one at the end as well Michael Conroy as well, cornerback, has set up a lot of play. He's come out with a lot of ball as well. We've seen Bally Bowden trying to get in for the goal here and, and certainly creating a couple of opportunities as well. Uh, some great defending by, uh, by Kula. Yeah, Paul Ryan has been very good on the freeze since he's gone on them from Niall. Not that Niall managed to miss any, but here... Uh, Pierce Christie added a lot of impetus as well he's a re really really quick player as well using the ball well and um, Niall McMurrow was const constantly shown winning ball laying it off um, you know it's a great score as well here so <coughs> Niall, Niall has been a, a huge threat up there as well from open play and linking up linking up that play as well yeah. Well, the draw will take place after extra time and potentially penalties, by the way. We will have those if needed. It's as tight as we expected it to be. It looked like the, the ball, the initial puck out there at the end was going to run through and there was a, a golden goal opportunity, but some absolutely brilliant defending yeah. as well by Bally Bowden. So 
Look, the, these two teams are going full blooded at it as well. Great contest and credit to both player, both sets of players and management as well. So, looking forward to another thirty minutes. Was it Leddy mm. and uh, McDwyer who just got? Well, McDwyer got the yeah. one then that we came across. Yeah. David Tracy had managed to get the ball back and sprayed the ball across, but McDwyer got a little touch on it just to take it out of the cool of for or forwards path, you know. But it would have been a, a probably a, a, a match winning score. So. Yeah. Yeah, last gasp stuff all over the place as well. So look, that's what we that's great entertainment for 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 us. It really is. Two periods of ten minutes, penalties if required, the draw to be made afterwards, by the way. Uh, we'd love to hear from you at Dub G A A Official is the Twitter account and don't forget to hashtag uh, go ahead D S H A. Connor Hayes says, Oshin, what do you make of the Kuda team today versus the Kuda team a few weeks ago against Crokes? Well look, there's no comparison. They started poorly, but that was an aberration in the sense that Sometimes teams start poorly. Bally Bowden were the same last year. They were beaten by Crokes in the first round and well beaten, but bounced back and got to the final. Now, they did lose the final, but they did get there. Um, I think it's fair to say we're seeing a very different Kula to the one we saw on the opening day against Crokes and an even better one than what we saw against Bridget's on the final day of the first round. Uh, yeah, but like uh, As I said, uh, sometimes an early defeat like that can really help focus the mind and focus the group, kind of moving forward as well. So, listen, you know... These Kula players, we know the experience some of them have. They're obviously not not the same squad that they had a number of years ago, but you see the level of experience there in a lot of them. And these tight games, they're well used to kind of battling it out and coming through them as well. And um, look, in fairness to Ballyboden, and then they were three down, but they were kept clawing back and digging in, and they weren't going to let it go. So uh, great character shown by both teams as well, and um, really, really intriguing now to see who will kind of who can kick on and and go on and maybe you know. And, and get into a semi-final. And I'm not sure I could call it. I'm not sure I want to try and call it because it's impossible. Well, Scully Connell won the Senior A relegation playoff and there's a lot of praise coming in for uh, one of their mentors, uh, Matt Cushion, who brought them from Junior B to Senior A. That's some journey. I think he took over the adult team, as you would have called them, in 2011 and brought them to the top tier. I can't imagine he's going to step away from the club, though. I'd say he'll be in a involved in some way, shape or form. He's done a great job. Yeah, great achievement. Yeah. Well, we're just drawing breath ahead of two periods of extra time, two periods of 10 minutes, penalties if required. And look, this is a real cliche moment, but how much of it is about work rate and who wants it more if that isn't too silly a question? Uh, like how much of it is just about drawing a lot on of your it, reserves? A lot of it, I suppose, Oshin, you know, so psychological really. And, you know, I suppose Kula maybe felt they had it won. Uh, when Kong got the point but Ballyboden showed the strength of character to come back and, and get it level so look I think it's just starting afresh these two teams they're just look I think they have good respect for each other as well and it's just going to be a ding dong battle and just both teams going at it and both believing that they can go on and win it and can you just control alt delete and start again even if you were disappointed with the way the game ended uh, we'll come back to that point in a second Doc O'Connor tries to find McMorrow but he was forced off it by O'Callaghan it's a risky enough hand pass from O'Callaghan. Mellet wins it back, but illegally so, and it's a free for Kula. Don't forget for analysis of these games, as in all four Senior A hurling quarterfinals, and a preview of the Senior A football quarterfinals next weekend, which are all live on Dubs TV. Check out the Dublin GA podcast during the week. Brilliant. Great catch. Brilliant take by Simon Lambert. Simo is always stepping up. He's got Durkin outside. Instead, he goes long. Paul Ryan chasing after this one. Conroy is tugging the jersey. Yeah. Ryan gets the pass away to Christie. Christie with that bedazzling pace back across to McMorrow. McMorrow. Great score. Very good score. Yeah, it came, it came from the catch from Simo there. You know, it set it up. Lovely ball across to Paul Ryan. And they worked it up. They worked it well. Pierce Christie, lovely little ball into Niall McMorrow and a sharp finish. You know, Niall is really alive in there if they can get the ball into him. 
He's having a stormer today. O'Callaghan tries to run onto it. Luke Corcoran there just to hold it up. Good full back play from him. David O'Connor. O'Connor might fancy a go himself. Christie's loose enough on the left. Now Ryan. Ryan had Keeney beside him but finds a gap. Ran into trouble. It rebounds into the path of McMorrow. There's about four Nile McMorrows out there. Do you know that? It's a bad ball from Keeney. That was a good hook as well by John Sheenan. Yep. Credit to Sheenan. Malone goes long. Sean Moore trying to make it his. James Madden takes it. McGarry is there to help him out. Khan throws the shoulder, but Madden stays going. Lambert. McGarry should win this foot race, but look at the burst being shown by Dermot O'Flynn. Mellet. Ballyboden in a tighter corner than they needed to be. McGarry. In the end, he just said, I you know what? Under right thing, yeah, 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 just get it away. <laughs> Paul Ryan. David O'Connor winds up and goes for it. Just and hits it wide. Brennan. Shannon. Malone. Good footwork from Malone. Great composure being shown there by John Shannon. Killian Shannon loses it on the way out. Steps was the cry from the Ballyboden mentors. Referee not interested. Kula have it back. It's flung out for the run of Conroy. Good pass by Conroy. John Shannon. O'Flynn beside him. Gives it to O'Flynn. Will he run it all the way in? O'Flynn. Crowded out in the end, but I think he was fouled. No, it's wide. Yeah, it's good pressure by the Ballyboden defence. In fairness, uh, to see O'Flynn coming off the shoulder like a, a, a you know, powerful runner, um, John Sheenan gives it to him. So it's a trap, but Ballyboden got back and sniffed, snuffed it out. <laughs> McGarry. McDuar is going to try and get there and does. Juggles it, eventually gets it under control. Takes a hit there from Darrow O'Connell. Darrow O'Connell did very well there. Forced McDuar to drop it. Conroy was the aim, but it's stolen and pickpocketed by David O'Connor. And he wins the free in. Yeah, Doc David O'Connor straight in there, getting possession. Lost his hurley, but wasn't gonna wasn't gonna spill the ball. And you know, wins a free. Paul Ryan will take his time with this one. Bally Bowden have probably started the better an extra time, Shane. They certainly have. But just one point to show for it. Ryan. Wide. We did say this game would be tight and we did say it might go down to one point. Kula got a controversial oh. score in the first half. They might get in for another one here. It's Darrow O'Connell. He's been quiet in the scoring sense so far but not anymore. Yeah, Darrow's great at coasting in there behind, you know, uh, drifting in behind the defence as well, reading the play and, you know, he'd... he'd uh, that's a real trademark. Darrow O'Connell onto the break and, and popping a point. So, Kula back level. Ballyboden are warming up Paddy Dunleavy. That's Leddy who's yeah, down, made a vital intervention in the dying seconds of normal time. He did, yeah, he seems in a, bi a bit of bother. He's limping off and will be replaced by Paddy Dunleavy. But it's a long winter for whoever loses here. Oh, it is. Both teams have put a year effort in this year as well. They want to. They want to kick on. They want to go further. And getting to the final will be even bigger this year because crowds are back. Now I know there's a semi-final to yeah. come, but you know what I mean. Absolutely. Swatted forward by John Shannon. Minded well. 
by Simon Lambert. McGarry had to run back mm. to it. Lambert. Simon Finn linking up business partners also. Might break for McMorrow running out to meet it as Paul Ryan. Free out though. He's claiming a bit of a nudge there. Harsh enough maybe. Not to downgrade any titles won by any team last season, but it just wasn't the same when you didn't have big crowds in. Some county finals were lucky where they had maybe two or 300. I think some got up to 500, but there was many county finals where there were no crowds. Kerwin goes outside to O'Callaghan. Recycle well to Colm Shannon. Good score. Who puts it over the crossbar. Yeah, cool. They're very good at that. They just, you know, hold the ball and look for the right option, and they're very calm and composed and popped it out to Shannon, who lovely score off the left. Good run by Lambert. Still going Gone. somehow. Dispossessed by O'Connell. But at the cost of a line ball. David O'Connor looked ready to burst. He might have to burst. In fact, it trickled down towards Dunleavy. He can't make it his now. It's Kula's. There's only two players in the whole half. Uh, Bally Bowden's half. And O'Callaghan taken down there very cleverly by the fullback, Luke Corcoran, but it is a free. He knew what the potential cost of letting O'Callaghan pass him even from that distance was. Yeah, important, important free here for David Tracy. You know, like a, a, a two-point cushion in, in this sort of game is actually, you know, it's a lot. Kula again, just th there was a picture there rushing in the whole half. Literally, there was one Kula player, so they, they have a lot of space up up around, you know, Bally Bowden's defensive half. So if they can isolate that, they'll, they'll do a lot of uh, damage, you know, whereas on the other side, it's a lot more crowded. So David Tracy. It's to the left. Hits it wide. It's harder when you're further out and it's deep into the game and your limbs yeah. are aching that was not an easy effort even in the first minute that would have been an easy free he hasn't missed too many if any Oshin. no I think that's his first <laughs> miss from a free and that's one where you'd say you'd nearly you know accept that yeah. because it was so far out and so tight good take of the ball there by David Tracy gets it inside John Shannon he's going Shannon for it. he's going for it I think he's got it a big point from a big player and it could be a big moment yeah Dave done well again. He, he's very composed on the ball again, and you know pops it out to John. Long range score, great score from Kula. Two point lead. McGarry picking out Dunleavy. Dunleavy going back to McGarry. Two between them. If Bally Bowden can get to the half time break of extra time without conceding any more, they'll probably consider that a bit of a victory. Mellis, great take by Durkin. He's surrounded though. He was ambushed. He stayed really cool. Simon good Lambert. It's a good score from Simo, is it? Just to the right. He was unlucky. Good pressure by the Kula defence again. Not making it easy and really, you know, boxing in Shane Durkin there. Dunleavy oh. is beaten for pace and has fouled his man. It's another easy free for Kula. Yeah, Darrow O'Connell yeah. playing that one very cleverly. Yeah, and he's he's brilliant at that. O'Shane, you know, letting the ball run on and he has that pace to just get away. And it, look, look, if he'd got away, it was a score. He'd make his room and he'd pop it. No doubt about it. So, um, a chance for for Kula to stretch out the lead. Well, Kula might have hit the heights of previous seasons so far this season, but one thing they have shown is a lot of guts and a lot of character. They're showing that here. This will probably be the last strike of the first period of extra time because we haven't had too many stoppages.
We probably need the lights on here as well. Yeah, Dave bounces back from from his missed free as well. He's 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 hobbling a little bit as well. He's put in putting in a Trojan shift here as well. So half time in break. extra time. Kula by three, but this one not done yet. No, absolutely not, O'Shane. You know, so anything can happen here. Ten minutes, you know, anything a ball, it'd be a goal or Bally, Bally Bowden are, are extremely capable of just chipping in a few points here and getting, you know, getting back into this game by clipping over a few scores. You know, the Senior A and Senior B semi-final draw to come here on Dubs TV. That will happen after this game. Will this game end after extra time, or will it go all the way to penalties? That could be the case. It has to end today. Remember, there will be no replay. Let's have a look at some of the highlights of extra time so far. Yeah, it was a lovely, lovely score by Niall McMurray. Bally Bowden started well, um, getting the first score or two as well. Started really sharp into it. Kula obviously not going to go away. Darrow Connell reading breaks and lovely, you know, he, he loves that position, breaking onto the ball. And he'll pop scores like that as well. So, um, Callum Shane and ball, or yeah, composure by Kula out to Callum Shane as well. Lovely score off the left. So, again, they just have that lovely pass from David Trace here to John Shane and for a long range score. So, they've kicked on a little bit. Uh, David Tracy with the free, they've pushed on, they've kicked on, they've, they've developed a three-point lead again. Um, by no means ruling Ballyboden out here, but they're they're going to have to they're going to have to work it. They're going to have to get back into the game. Uh, lads are going to have to step up and, and you know get crucial scores, and they have that in their they have that in their ranks as well. So um, all to play for, all to play for. I wonder what's being said in either huddle. Is it tactical or is it kind of blood and thunder type stuff? Yeah, I suppose it just there's still that space in the in the Kula forward line, you know. So you're looking down at the pitch there, the Ballyboard, and kind of it just looks crowded. It looks, you know, a lot harder to get a score rushing, you know. Whereas the Kula, there's more options to hit space. There's more kind of movement. They are getting their scores that's slightly bit easier. So how do Ballyboard change that, you know? So c can they draw them in? Maybe try and isolate lads inside and, and get the ball in fast and 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 you know create that space and get the likes of Pierce Christie and Mellet buzzing in off it and coming on off the shoulder and breaking in for a goal or if they have that pace yep. they ha they have that they have that in their in their group you know so they got to vary it up you're probably under the impression that you have to wait until next weekend for your Dublin GA fix you don't on Wednesday evening we've got the go ahead Dublin senior football championship quarter final preliminary match Ballantyre taking on Castle Knock. That's on Wednesday night live on Dubs TV from here in Parnell Park. McMorrow, yeah, free in yeah, for Ballyboden. Yeah, I think it was accidental, but there was definitely a slap down on the head there as well. We could hear it from here, Oshin. Um, so certainly a free in, a chance for Ballyboden to get get going straight away. McMorrow taking a bit of a knock. That's important for Ballyboden that they get the first score, that they start with a positive. Two teams that never give up. Maliki Travers, the former Wexford cornerback who played his club hurling with Bally Bowden in charge, now took over a group that did well under Joe Fortune. He brought them to a final last year and uh, won the trophy the year before. Paul Ryan to make it a two-point game, which he does. Well, spoiler alert, Nafina, Lucan and Kilmacud Croaks all already in the semi-finals. Who's going to join them? The semi-final draw coming up after this. Con O'Callaghan tries to ensure Kula's name is in the hat. Goes to ground, hasn't won the free but is able to get it away. O'Callaghan tries to get onto the break. It was in the hand there of Shannon. And it's won by Durkin. Durkin had to race backwards. Christie trying to get there. Jake Malone does well to just hold him up. Support arrived in there from Ono Callahan. Running after it is uh, Shannon. Shannon's over the ball. Killian Shannon, that is. There's a few of them out there. Killian Shannon trying to 
barrels way forward it squirts out it's into the hands of a Bally Bowden player who just fires it long that player was Simon Lambert looking for McMorrow oh. it breaks kindly for McMorrow O'Callaghan is holding him up McMorrow has to angle away from goal gives it to Niall Ryan they'll have to settle for a point when a goal potentially was on yeah, he it is a one point yeah. game though Go b b ball up by Simon Lambert brilliant by Niall McMorrow he's in there with Keane O'Callaghan who's a formidable fullback and he managed you know he'd have a height advantage but managed to win the ball pop it to Niall Ryan and get a score and that's what you need you know that's what you need and when it comes to this stage of the game you need to win them hard balls one point between them Kula leading really good play by Mellet how they keep their composure under such pressure I will never know what a driving run this is Dunleavy goes outside Lambert back to Dunleavy a lot of space for him to work with two players inside if he fancies a pass Dunleavy takes his, a point and hits it wide oh, he's unlucky he's unlucky he deserved a score yeah, yeah. for that he's surging forward there uh, popped it to Simo Simo pops it back to him he's just a bit unlucky but powerful powerful run forward it's actually a line ball it didn't go wide I just assumed he was going to get the score that's why I said he takes his point but he'll be very disappointed with that Malone it's intercepted brilliantly there by McTuire and it's spilled out over the line by Malone it is a Ballyboden Bally ball David O'Connor's in it's a great ball or oh, unlucky he's unlucky David O'Connor snuck in around the back there Paul spotted him Nearly got it to him. It would have been a good scoring opportunity. Unlucky. At the very least, they keep Kula pinned back. Yep. Rugby style. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about territory. <laughs> Goes loose again. Mellet onto it again. He's had a really good game in a kind of a ball-winning sense. Connell Keeney. Dunleavy tries to run onto the break. Keeney's still there. Ball has disappeared from our view. I think he's saying clash ball. He'll throw this one in. Dave Ashton, the referee. Didn't really give them much time to settle. It's another ruck. Niall Ryan tries to get over that. Couldn't quite bend his back. Paul Ryan. Brilliant stuff from Paul Ryan. Backwards to Keeney. Keeney oh. to Christie. Christie couldn't get it under control. Taking it now is on O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan, good pass. Shannon. Killian Shannon. Intercepted by Bally Bowden. Luke Corcoran, very strong, the fullback. Luke Corcoran, it's opening up for him. Luke Corcoran might fancy a go. Luke Corcoran, I think, has overcarried this one. Still trying to keep the attack alive. Malone storms out. Intercepted again. Brilliant steal by David Doc O'Connor. It's wide. wide. Unlucky. David O'Connor done extremely well to nip in there and get it. And had the scoring opportunity. Unlucky just to the right. Uh, great initial play by Luke Cork and surging up the pitch. He just overplayed it though. He, did. he, he took did. too much yeah, out of the he ball. Did. He had the chance probably to pop it off. One between them. Brennan. O'Callaghan is trying to get there. Couldn't make it stick. Chasing after it, Dunleavy. Dunleavy tangling there with uh, the Kula player. Two big men. Yeah, trying to hack it away was Kevin Kerwin. Stealing away is Darrow O'Connell. Using his pace. Knocked off Good his touch. stick. Keeney slips at the vital moment. Still though, he's able to get the ball. Then he drops it. Good hand pass. Stephen O'Connor allows it to drop his way. A rare moment of space for a player on either team here. Stephen O'Connor has a look up. Great catch. Really well taken under pressure. James Madden. Madden inside. Pierce Christie. There's a goal on here. Christie! Great save by Brennan. Save of the season. Swept <laughs> up by Conroy. Oh, Shane, what a save. What a save. What a... 
Well, it's out for a 65. It could have been far worse for Kula, though. It was a brilliant ball by James Madden to spot the Pierce, and it was an he caught it well, struck it low. An absolutely brilliant reaction save by Sean Brennan. Uh, chance for Bally Bowden to, to level it, but what an opportunity. I was sure that was going to be a goal, Oshin. Well, I was just about to <laughs> write G beside Christie's name as in goal, but what a save by Sean Brennan. That was superb, superb reaction down to his left. Uh, James Madden had done brilliantly. The point was probably on seeing the pass. Great vision. Um, Pierce Christie, very unlucky. Great save. Ryan to level it up. And After all yeah. that, it's all square. They've got something out of it, O'Shane, yeah. Well, those of you... And Paul Ryan would be a man who'd like a penalty. He wouldn't. <laughs> oh, he wouldn't shy away. <laughs> Falls down to Sean Moore. Moore who got the goal in the first half. A point will do here. Good pressure by Simon Lambert yeah, there. Excellent pressure. It's wide. Kula making a change. Must be tough to come into a game like this off the bench. Going off is Colm Shannon. And after coming on for Kula is uh, Nicky Kenny, who's been around a while. McGarry. Broken down by Connell Keeney, who is still battling away. What a man he is. Lambert has a look up. Great block mm -hmm. by Kenny. What an impact. Just off the bench and already does something like that. That's good for the confidence of him and his team. Shannon's trying to bend his back and get over that one. There's a real tight scramble on here. That ball is stuck on the ground. Stephen O'Connor can't get it. Got to throw it in. Now he has to throw this one in. How are you at counting penalties? Just It would be surreal if that does happen. Well, it's the way it would have to be rather than the way you'd want it to be and there won't be too much extra time at the end of well there won't be too much injury time at the end of extra time here uh, you'd imagine there might be another chance or two maybe that'll be it not if the ball is stuck yeah. there <laughs> that's a really close one too you can actually feel the intensity yeah, of it yeah. stealing away his medal. a free, yeah. a free for Bally Bowden from what you would consider for Paul Ryan a scoreable position Christie's making a dart in front he wanted to get the ball quickly yeah. But his teammates didn't see. Yeah, Ed Mallet done extremely well. It was a little tug. The referee well spotted as well. So, uh, big chance for Reiner here. Ryan, who's been excellent since coming in. I actually don't want to shout too loudly here because <laughs> he's so close to us. He can actually hear us. I'm sure he's blocking out everything at the moment. Paul Ryan to potentially win an epic quarter final. It's got the distance. Does it have the accuracy? Paul Ryan. It's off the woodwork. McMorrow tries to get there, but O'Callaghan beats him to it. We're now out of time. I think we might be going to penalties unless Kula can work it up the pitch. O'Callaghan has a look up. Farms it long. Tracy tries to break it. Tracy tries to flick it to Kenny and can't. Kenny might be able to run onto it here. He's just beaten to it. It's back in the hands of Bally Bowden. Stretching to get that one is Madden. Madden goes with the hand pass outside to Paddy Dunleavy. Dunleavy has a look up. Great block. Kula turn it over. Could this be the moment? David Tracy. You'd want no one else on the ball from a Kula point of view. But he's hit it wide, I think. No, the white flag is being raised. David Tracy may well have just won it for Kula. It's, it's unbelievable, Oshin. Unbelievable. Well, they took their time. They added to the tension and the <laughs> tension was already high. It's unbelievable. But in the end, the umpires say point and Kula are in front. Yeah, David Tracy, Darrell O'Connell popped it out to him and said, here, you have a pop at this. And, he, you know, what a phenomenal score by Dave. Tracy could easily have passed that to a player in a better position or not taken on the shot, but he did, and he nailed it. Is there time for Bally Bowden to get one last shot away? They're so unlucky. They hit the woodwork. Kula worked it up the pitch and scored the point that has them in front. Those are the fine margins. Those are the moments that decide games. 
Yeah, I suppose it was great pressure by Dara and Dave to get the, the, the force the defensive error as well. And, you know, Dara uh, showing a bit of composure, pops it to Dave, who right on the sideline. Um, you know, what, what, a, what a moment to step up. McGarry works it short. Luke Corcoran. Corcoran has to go back to McGarry. There must be only seconds left. McGarry launches it. This is it for Bally Bowden. Well won out in front. He'll have to take it on. He does. It's going it's wide and cool to celebrate because they know that is that. Simon Lambert was brave to go for it. But unfortunately for him, it tailed away. This could be the last puck of the game. Who's going to win possession? Missed by a cooler player. Khan has it. Khan O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan to win it. O'Callaghan gets the score. Cooler by two. And that is that. Yeah, great score by Khan. Composed on the ball. Makes the room for himself. And, you know, gets the second score. Looks like that's it. Kula have found a way. Bally Bowden gave it absolutely everything. It looked like they might steal it at the end of extra time. They were desperately unlucky when Ryan struck the woodwork from a long range free. Kula worked the ball up the park. Tracy got a brilliant score to put Kula one in front. And then Con O'Callaghan, who else, put them two in front. And that was that. An epic go-ahead Dublin Senior Hurling Championship quarterfinal. It ends Kula 127, Bally Bowden 28 points. Yeah, Oshin, you need to take a breath after that one. Like unbelievable, and just hats off to both teams. There, we knew that you know that both teams put so much into it and serving, served, served up an absolute thriller again. And you know, tension, everything, everything in it. Clo our great scores. Both teams battling, giving it everything, and getting stuck into it. And just admiration for all the players. They're absolutely phenomenal efforts, and you know, heartbreaking for Bally Bowden. Right, feel for them. Certainly feel for them today. Um, but well done to Kula again for kind of marching on and right at the death, kind of managing to work the scores to to just clinch it and in, in what was a, a enthral and kind of finish. Well, that's why we use the term champion team. I think Kula are very much the definition of that. Let's talk about those last few moments, those last few clutch plays. David Tracy and Conor Callahan getting the scores to see at home. Tracy's one in particular. That really was the moment, wasn't that it? That was, that was it, but it came straight after, like Paul, right, they'd hit the post with a free, had their own opportunity, Bally Bowden, you know, and then it, it came down, and they probably, <coughs> you know, the, the work rate, even at that stage of the game, when the lads, I'm sure they're very tired, managed to force the, the defensive error. Dara O'Connell and David Tracy, look, these two guys have, have massive experience. Dara knew, you know, knew to pop it out to Dave, who had a bit of room just to get the shot off, and... Ushing the angle and the, the composure and you know I think that certainly would make David Tracy man of the match as well at the end of the game you know he's yeah. kind of landed his freeze he was superb he was linking up the play and he was uh, you know brought a lot of guys into the game and his freeze were brilliant and right at the death then he, he gets the, the crucial score to 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 drive Kula and kick Kula on into a, into a semi-final and obviously Khan in there straight away after to, to get that second point and, and the insurance point but Heartbreak for Bally Bowden, uh, you know, per performed heroically as well, and both teams just went really, really at it, but well done to Kula on, on you know, grafting it out. Well, David Tracy is our go-ahead Dublin Senior Hurling Championship quarterfinal player of the match, and he deserves that accolade. Hopefully we'll hear from him in just a moment, but uh, Kula, it's not just any ordinary victory, is it? This will give them something, especially after they... A poor start and weren't particularly convincing against St. Bridget's. This will send a message to themselves internally that they're nearing where they want to be. They're getting better. And that's a good place to be going into a semi-final. Listen, no, Shane, a win like that, I mean, either team, whoever came out of that, the win, something like that just gives injects huge confidence into the group, you know. And they're, they're going training next week. You know, haven't been through that and, and come through the Bridget's game as well. And, you know, so you're really, really starting to to build something special there for the year and you're into a semi-final and you know you so they'll be you know as I said the guys they have the experience but the, the 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 beauty of it is for them they're gelling in a lot of new players and there's a lot of new guys coming into it no 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 more so you know similar to Bally Bowden as yeah. well there's a lot of guys that are going to learn a, a, a hell of a lot from that game and it'll bring them on massively moving forward as well but look what an absolute thriller and as we said these two teams are the these two teams are the, are the you know are the are the are the, the powerhouses in Dublin hurling and have proven that over the last kind of 
you know, decade as well. So here they are again serving up a thriller and, you know, uh, just just unbelievable and what an exciting finish and, you know. Kula would have to be the favourites now at this stage, wouldn't they? Um, look, uh, yeah, there's a lot of teams. There's a lot, a lot. Of, there's four strong teams in it. Um, I, I don't think you know. I think every team will will fancy their chances and will believe they can win it. But I mean, you have to admire that today from Kula, and you know they're they're obviously not ready to to you know to step away from the from from winning these county titles yet. Maybe the people, some people are writing them off, but they'll be there or thereabouts, and and you know, hats off to them. Well, it's Kula, Kilmacook Crooks, Luke and Sarsfields and Nafina in the semi-finals in the Senior A Championship. We'll find out who plays who in a couple of minutes when we have the draw for the semi-finals. We'll find out what David Tracy thinks of their win in just a moment when Shane Dawson talks to him down by the sideline, down on the pitch. He's just after coming out of a very happy Kula huddle. In fact, let's go down to the sideline now where David Tracy, our player of the match, is speaking with Shane Dawson. Yes, thank you very much, Ushin Lang, and I am indeed with the uh, go-ahead player of the match, David Tracy. I'll present you with that. Thanks very much. David, I, I know this is a generic, clichéd question, but sum up that ending for me, because I'm, I'm at a loss for words, even looking at it from the stands. Yeah, I think it was just one of those classics that was tit for tat from probably, I don't know, the 20th minute. I don't know how many times <laughs> yeah. we were level today. Um, and it's just we've had some amazing battles with Bally Bowden over the years, and it's a group that we've had massive respect for when they had won their six championships all the way through and you know what you're going to get with them they have such experience in their side you know there's a lot of hurdles like the likes of Dirk and the likes of Keeney Ryan are coming back from injury it's great to see Niall McMurrow so we always know what we're going to get with this and you have to be at that certain level to be able to get across the line and you know we took our chances towards the end but it could have gone either way so it's just one of those games you talk about the experience that, that Bally Bowden have and, and certainly what was shown today and that they certainly did put it up in, in terms of the challenge but for Kula and for yourselves, you know, you're not at a loss for experience and you have some young guys coming through as well. There's a, a perfect blend really at the moment. Yeah, I think I, I think that's that's very true and you see it's typical of a match today when there's a lot of experience on both sides. So two teams that are too stubborn to lose, to be honest with you, and they don't know when they're bet. And I think we'll take we'll take great uh, learnings from this game and we'll take great motivation from it. Um, and we're just looking forward now to the semi-final. Um, you know, it's we've given ourselves not like there's a cook against Bridges against Bowden. There's only a puck of a ball between twice, so we need to step it up again. And because as you can see, the standard of this championship is so high, um, and you need to be at your best to, to to be able to progress. You mentioned the the win against Bridges, the, the last group game. It was the last four points you, you scored uh, in a row. That must give you great self-belief and great confidence going into this. And when you're trying to grind out a match in, in the depths of extra time, I know you stood up when it was counted for and you, you got the... Well, you were made wait a, a while yeah. before it was officially announced yeah. as a point as well. I think, but the, I think the umpires had a, they had a few bets on how many <laughs> if it was over or not. I was chatting to them at the end, but they were over, thankfully. And uh, he took a sweet time. He was, he was as knackered as me getting across to the white flag. I don't know what. So just thankfully it began to curl as I hit it and, and, and just went over. And thankfully we got across. But, but genuinely, like that, that kind of belief that, that is there, does that come stem from... from how you, you, you defeated Bridget's as well because you started the championship with a defeat as well let's yeah. not forget about that and then you've built on that and you've regrouped from it yeah like I mean what we're trying to do is learn every game and, and in fairness to Crokes they gave us a kick in the arse at the, at the start when we had a chance and when you get to knock out like this it's backs against the wall so you have no second chances so all we can do is focus on we'll watch this back and see where we can actually improve on it and, and, and see if we can kick on from there because we have progressed but we still we feel maybe we haven't hit the heights just yet and we're not setting the world alight or anything like that so plenty plenty of work to do looking at the rest of the teams that are in this and watching the games yesterday if you're not hurling at 100 percent what's the percentage you're at, at the moment then uh, no we are but like you know we just <laughs> still haven't there's uh, still always plenty more to give i only had one leg there for the last five five minutes five or ten minutes so yeah there's plenty plenty of work to do and, and, and plenty of work on to have absolutely well listen david tracy you already uh, go ahead player of the match Gentlemen, thanks very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Cheers, thanks. Grab that off you. Yeah, go off, go off. Gentlemen, uh, we are hoping to have uh, Cooler manager John Toomey uh, coming to join us, but I don't think. Dave, you might go find uh, your, your manager for us and, and bring him over. <laughs> um, there you have it. Well, what an ending to that one as well. Very similar to yesterday with Nafina uh, going right to the wire as well, but just as we expected. We built it up so much this weekend. I'll take some blame for that building up that this was the big one and it's certainly uh, Sean True going right to the wire Kula eventually defeating Ballyboden Bally Bowden saying to end his they are true to the semi-finals and that semi-final draw will be taking place uh, very shortly with Dotsie O'Callaghan and Oshin Langan up in the gantry I've one last look around my shoulder and I believe actually John Toomey is on his way over to us casually sauntering over you wouldn't think that his team has just won uh, a quarter final and you wouldn't think that has been just that ending as well an absolutely breathless ending. John, have you, have you just about caught your breath? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'll, 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 I'll hand you that here because you're, you're, you're live on Dub TV. What's the overriding emotion coming away from that? Well, look, I suppose, you know, it's mixed emotions, really. Uh, it mixed the magnificent with the not so magnificent. Uh, great days, uh, great game, great entertainment. Um, two great sides going, you know, hell for letter. Gave everything that, that, that they could, uh, and we were lucky to come out on the right side of it. You know, Bally Bowden, uh, disappointed. But what, what, what a team, uh, what a game, you know, what a competition. It's, it's everything we dream of. It's what brings us back every week. It's everything that makes the GAA what it is. Absolutely, and it's great to have a few fans back as well after, after having such empty stadiums for so long and to be able to put on that show for them as well, John. It's just spectacular. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I don't know when they're shouting over the, over the fence at you. You know, at times you wish they were back where they were. But no, it's great. Look, you know, in all seriousness, it, it, is, it is great. You know, it's been a tough year for everybody and to have people back in the stadium uh, enjoying themselves, you know, playing the game that they all love. Uh, that's what it's all about. And it, it is great. It is, it is, it is great. Uh, you know, no matter what the result is, it's, it's great to have it like that. Yeah, certainly well said. And you mentioned how that game ebbed and flowed. And, and you know, it may be cliche, but it, it truly did. You know, you were, I think, four up at one stage and it was level and Bowden got the better in the, the second half of extra time there as well. What was the message? You know, what, what, what got you over, over the line in the end? Just to keep doing what we were doing all the time. And we had, you know, we had, we had agreed how we would play and we just stuck to it. We stuck to the system. We trusted ourselves. We backed ourselves. Uh, they're a great team. They're great players. Uh, and, you know, they've been around the block. They know what it takes to win. Uh, and they have trust and confidence in themselves. And they stuck to that. They stuck to that no matter what they're faced. Same the last day. It was tight against Bridget's. Uh, coming down the home stretch, anyone could have won it. Uh, it was the same again today. But they trusted themselves, they backed themselves, and they were brave. You mentioned that word trust there three times. I want to hone in on that. Is, does that come from just the closeness of this group and, and a bit of experience as well, perhaps, that there is this inner trust amongst the playing unit that they don't have to rely the whole time on, on messages from the sideline as well, that they can manage a game? Well, it takes many, many aspects to, to win a game. It's not just one alone, and they have all of that. Uh, and they demonstrated and showed all of that today. Uh, and I think it, it is experience they've played over the years, um, and it is you know camaraderie, training. There's lots of it goes into it. It's not one today. It's mm. one. It's one over the years. It's one in all those kind of wet, dark, cold nights when everybody else is at home. They're out practicing their skills, their training, they're building up their strength, their stamina. It's it's this is hard work that has gone in over the years, and that's what got them through today. My final question to you, John: the, the manner of victory and, and how you clawed it back against Bridget's, and then you saw it out here as well, really digging deep in extra time. That must give you great belief that 2021 could be cool this year. Well, I'd be far happier if I was standing here saying we had won by a bigger margin. <laughs> we take it whatever way we we got it. We'll take it for what it is. It's a very narrow victory over a great team, uh, and that's we'll take that and move on. Well, there's a great Mickey Whelan and Sill me down through the years. One point or more. That's all. That's all that's it takes, John. That's, that's all it takes. That's it. You're a gentleman. I'll grab that microphone off you. Thanks so much, John. Many congratulations. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Very uh, happy, cool manager, and indeed David Tracy, go ahead, player of the match uh, a few moments earlier. But let's get you upstairs to Dato Callan and Oshin Langan to take place for the uh, semi final draw for both the Senior A and the Senior B. Go ahead, Dublin Senior Hurling Championships. Well, we're about to make the draw for the Senior A and Senior B Go Ahead Dublin Hurling Championships. We know who's in the semi-finals. What we don't know is who will play who. Senior A in a moment, but first, the Senior B draw with Ken O'Sullivan and Colin Crowley of the Dublin County Board. And, of course, our special guest is the New Ireland Assurances a Cup, which is awarded to the Senior A champions. At the moment, the cup belongs to Kula, and Kula are still in it, but who will they play? We'll find out in a moment. First of all, the Senior B draw, Ken. So the first team to be drawn out in Senior B, Ballyboden St. Ballyboden St. Enders, still in it in Senior A and still in it in Senior B. Who will they play? Castle Knock. Castle Knock, who'll play a preliminary quarter final in the football on Wednesday. That's live on Dubs TV. Clontarf. So we know who they'll play, but uh, Colm, we better do the necessary anyway. Sure. <laughs> Kilmacud Croaks Kilmacud Croaks so Kilmacud Croaks and Ballyboden still 
Well, actually, I beg your pardon, Bally Bowden just having been knocked out. Kilmacud Croke still looking for a Senior A and Senior B title. So now we'll make the Senior A semi-final draw. And by the way, if you miss any of this, you can catch up with it on the Dublin social media channels. And if you missed any of the live hurling action this weekend, you can catch it all on YouTube. We put the games up pretty much as soon as they're done. During the week, we'll have the Dublin GAA podcast, which will look back on these brilliant hurling matches that we've had over the last couple of days and of course look ahead to next weekend's football the quarterfinals taking place right it's time for the senior A draw Ken who will it be Luke and Sarsfields who won yesterday beating Crave Kieran a tight game Nafina Lucan against Nafina so we know who would play who in the other one but let's do the necessary Who's first out of the draw? Kula. Kula. So that means, and we know what this means, we know who they'll play. Kilmacud Croaks. They played some ding-dong battles over the years. I remember a semi-final from a couple of years ago that really stands out. So Croaks against Kula and Athena against uh, Lucan in the semi-finals. Gentlemen, Colm and Ken, thank you very much. That's it for Dubs TV a coverage of the quarterfinals from this weekend. Remember, you can watch them all back on the YouTube channel. And don't forget, next weekend, we've got the Go Ahead Dublin Senior Football Championship quarterfinals. And on Wednesday night, we'll find out who the last of those quarterfinalists is because Ballantyre will play Castleknock here in Parnell Park in a preliminary round quarterfinal. Their group was so tight, they couldn't be separated, so they have to play off. That game is live on Dubs TV. You can follow everything that's going on in the Senior Championship and beyond via the Dublin GAA social media channels. That's almost it from us here in Parnell Park. It's just left for me to say goodbye and good luck. And we'll see you in the next few days for the football action and in the next few weeks for the hurling action. Take care, good luck.